Hey guys, welcome back to Main Street Living. Uh, Danielle, Cheryl, with all that we've gone through the past year, of course, I think many of us are in search of some entertainment that's a little lighter, maybe funny or out of the ordinary. What do you yes, think? maybe even something with aliens or puppets. I think this is going to make your day. So here to tell us more about their new series, Earth to Ned. Please welcome Brian Henson and Cornelius to the show. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love you guys. Hi. Thank Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so cute. Brian, we absolutely love Earth to Ned. Tell us all about the show. Well, the 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 idea is that Ned, Ned, who's like eight times bigger than Cornelius, yeah. he came to he came to Earth with Corn Cornelius as his lieutenant on their ship. Right. Right. And uh, they came to kind of invade Earth for mm. Ned's father, who's the the admiral of the fleet, very mm -hmm. destructive alien culture. But what happened is when they arrived, Ned started watching television and he just fell in love with people and everything about celebrities and television. And so he wanted to do his own TV show. So he wanted it to be a, like a late night talk show. So he forced Cornelius to be his co-host, yeah. which initially Cornelius was not at all happy about. No. But he grew to enjoy it. Yeah. Well, and, I, got, I got this coat out of the deal, so, you know, it's pretty good. <laughs> so then nice they, they interviewed, so they beam celebrities in unexpectedly. Uh -huh. A celebrity might be doing whatever they were doing, and they get beamed onto Ned's ship, where they then do a, an interview with, with Cornelius and Ned. It's a, what we set out to do was make something that was really fun and funny but also smart. So I call it like intelligent nonsense. Ooh, so Ned doesn't know any, Ned doesn't know anything about the world. He doesn't really, he only knows what he knows through television. So he kind of has it all wrong when he's doing these interviews, but he loves everything about, about earth. So it's a very sort of uplifting, hmm. fun, funny series. It's, 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 it has a very, it's very positive. And, and, and yet, all of the conversations are on a very much on an um, adult level, mm -hmm. although Ned is a moron, so so he gets <laughs> things wrong all the time, which is hilarious. I'm glad but, you can get away with saying that. <laughs> but it, so it, yeah. so it kind of works for audiences of all ages. It's definitely safe for kids. Kids mm -hmm. love it. Mm -hmm. But as a talk show, it's basically like it's like an adult late night talk show, although it's safe for kids. Yeah. Well, I feel for Ned because I also watch way too much television, but I do know Cornelius. You guys had one of the best talk show sidekicks in the business visit, Andy Richter. Oh. Did you learn oh. anything valuable from him? Oh, he gave me the best advice. He told me that if an interview isn't going well between the host and the guest, just stay out of it. <laughs> Let the A-listers dig their own hole. You'll come out smelling like a peachy rose. <laughs> so Cornelius, I'm curious. Your your body is very interesting. It looks like kind of um, a nose that maybe was a pig, and then your eyes. Oh. I'm not sure what animal, but um, I'm getting more ant eater, Cheryl. Ant eater. I see that yeah. too. Talk about your appearance a little bit and move your yeah. eyes. I love. I want to see your eyes move around. Well, yeah, let's see your eyes move. Okay. All right. Fine. <laughs> First of all, I just want to say I don't think this is the place where you should be flirting with me so hard. Well, you know, you are kind of cute. Well, all right. Well, he's an alien. He's based on no Earth creatures, particularly. He's yeah. he's just from a, a weird planet. What planet were you from again? Cornassian. I'm a Cornassian. Cornelius from Cornassian. There you go. Yeah. We're not very creative with the names here. It's like calling somebody Earthy. Hey, nice to meet you, Earthy. <laughs> Should I go by Earthy? Sure, why not? Okay. <laughs> so, Brian, tell us, where did the inspiration for the show come from? Um... Actually, it was after we did the show for sci-fi called Creature Shop Challenge, mm -hmm. where we were doing animatronic creatures of all sorts. And in every episode, we were doing different ones. And and um, our producing partners on that, um, they we got together and we started talking about what can we do with cool, fun animatronic characters. And we got this idea to to do these aliens, and Ned particularly is huge. He he really is yeah. eight times bigger He's than Cornelius, there. and He's it was just boy. it was just a fun opportunity to do these really weird characters and justify it by them them being aliens. And um, oh, where what was the question I was answering? Um, just how how, how the answer? idea for the show came? Yeah. Oh, how the idea? So yeah. So then we were thinking. We've been trained. We've been doing an improv show for for years now called Puppet Up Uncensored, and 
underneath of Cornelius is a is a guy named Michael Ustrom. What? Cornelius doesn't know him, what? but he is actually underneath. And Michael and and Paul Rugg, who's who's performing um, Ned, there we've been doing um, improv comedy over the last like twelve mm -hmm. to fifteen years, mm -hmm. and we have a live show called Puppet Up Uncensored, and it was like. This was a really cool opportunity to bring the improv improv improvising skills of our puppeteers together with sophisticated animatronic puppets, which is never, yeah. we've never done that before. Because normally with animatronics, you lock the dialogue, you rehearse for weeks and weeks because they're so complicated. And so it just turned out to be just this really fun thing. And tough because they improvise the, the the interviews are not scripted they they are improvised mm -hmm. they they're real interviews and ned ned is performed by six puppeteers and to improvise with six puppeteers all working on one character is really kind of delightful and i at and i was terrified it wasn't going to work and then yeah. and then it worked great i yeah. think well, ned, ned sounds kind of high maintenance yeah, yeah. 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 I've also getting six Ned performers to work together is like herding egotistical cats. <laughs> I've heard that Cornelius, Ned is very Cornelius, demanding. Cornelius takes three three puppeteers to no, work Cornelius. This meta conversation is kind of you freaking me out, Brian. I have no idea what, what you're talking about. about. I got to tell you, this Michael guy keeps following me around. I need to talk to you about him a little bit. <laughs> Cornelius, I'm curious. Before yes. we go, I hear Ned is kind of demanding to work for. So mm. what are the challenges of working with Ned? Well, I have two answers for you. One answer is if Ned is going to see this interview and what answer is if he's not gonna see this interview. Working with Ned is so challenging to keep up with his keen intellect. That's and, the one for him watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And working with Ned is difficult because I have to keep all of his excretions in check or people are gonna slip all over our stage floor. That's true. <laughs> yeah, you know it's true. You guys are a blast. Thank you so, so much. And people can go where to learn more and watch. Oh, uh, where to go? We'll go to Disney Plus. Yeah. Uh, Disney Plus, we're streaming on Disney Plus. Um, the show is great, great. Please, please do. do. Uh, or you can go to Henson.com and learn a little bit more about the show, but mostly go to Disney Plus and see it because it's it's really fun. Earth to Ned, I'm excited. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much. Cornelius, you're gonna oh. get a big hug. Oh, right on. I'm rolling up my arms for the hug. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> All right, that was way too much fun, but we have more fun coming up, but stick with us. Next segment, we're going to explore some history. You don't want to miss it.